Are aliens visiting during the total solar eclipse of 2024? Imagine setting up your viewing spot with a perfect angle, your solar glasses at the ready, an eclipse party ready to go. But what if you're not just sharing this experience with fellow Earthlings, but also with visitors from across the galaxy? I was just thinking, we haven't seen Klaal in a long time. Yes, I'm talking about aliens. Sophisticated extraterrestrial tourists and nerdy otherworldly scientists who have all come this way because Earth offers the best views in the known universe. Let's engage. Take your seat. The human adventure is just beginning. To our alien visitors this April, human civilization might seem as elite as a shrewdness of chimpanzees is to us, and our greatest achievements like literature, philosophy, might not even register on their scale of interest. So what could possibly draw them across the light years of space to our little blue planet? Our total solar eclipses, of course. Earth holds a unique ticket in the cosmic lottery. Our total solar eclipses, where the moon perfectly covers the sun, leaving only the glowing corona visible, are a marvel of cosmic alignment and scale. Our moon is alone in the known galaxy that, from the surface of an inhabited planet, perfectly matches the size of the sun in the sky. This precision creates the total solar eclipse, complete with a view of the sun's corona and chromosphere, elements of our star which can't easily be seen under any other circumstances. But there's a catch. This alignment is a fleeting cosmic trick. The moon is inching away from us at about 3.8 centimeters per year, the same rate your fingernails grow. Fast forward 600 million years and total solar eclipses as we know them will cease to exist. The moon will appear too small to completely cover the sun, transforming all future eclipses into annular ones where the sun forms a ring of fire around the moon. Why does this matter, especially to our interstellar spectators? In our galactic neighborhood, where moons are either too small, like Phobos and Deimos in orbit of Mars, or non-existent, like moonless Venus, the phenomenon we witness is not just rare, it's a once-in-a-galaxy spectacle. For an alien civilization advanced enough to traverse the stars, such a unique event could be worth the journey drawing them here not for our culture or technology, but for the shadow that falls upon our world for just a few precious minutes. Technically, antisocial aliens could achieve a weak T version of our eclipse by hovering at just the right spot above the clouds of Jupiter, or from the frozen surface of Pluto, where the sun is only 1 39th as big as it appears to us. But where's the fun in that? Our moon's origin is a tale as old as the solar system itself, a story scientists have pieced together from lunar rocks, orbital mechanics, and computer simulations. The prevailing theory, known as the giant impact hypothesis, suggests a scene from a science fiction blockbuster. Around four and a half billion years ago, not long after the Earth had formed, it experienced a catastrophic collision with a Mars-sized body. It's a hypothetical world we've come to call Theia. This impact launched a huge amount of material into Earth's orbit, debris that eventually coalesced under its own gravity to form the Moon. It's a theory that explains many of the Moon's peculiarities, such as its composition, which is remarkably similar to Earth's mantle, its relatively small iron core, and its great size relative to Earth, about 27% as big as our own planet. As mesmerizing as the Moon is, both in its origin and everyday presence, it's engaged in a slow departure from Earth, a fact that carries profound implications for our planet and its inhabitants. This gradual distancing is due to tidal forces, a complex gravitational dance between the Earth and the Moon. Each day, the Moon steals a tiny bit of Earth's rotational energy, using it to move into a slightly higher orbit, a process that causes the Moon to drift away at approximately 3.8 centimeters per year. In college physics, this idea fascinated me. 
The moon and earth share no physical connection, yet because they are gravitationally bound, Newton's law of conservation of angular momentum means that as the earth's rotation slows down, the moon must move away. While a few centimeters might not seem like much, over millions of years, the consequences are significant. This slow migration affects the Earth's rotation, gradually lengthening our days, and has implications for the total solar eclipses we cherish. In the distant future, the Moon will no longer completely cover the Sun, transforming our awe-inspiring eclipses into routine events that could be seen anywhere in the galaxy. This phenomenon, known as the Moon's slow goodbye, serves as a reminder of the transient nature of the cosmic spectacles we witness. It emphasizes the importance of appreciating and studying these events while they are still accessible to us. Aliens may feel the same way. As another total solar eclipse arrives, imagine advanced civilizations for whom space travel is as easy as hopping on a bus, choosing Earth as their eclipse destination. These interstellar tourists, ranging from the deeply scientific to the luxuriously rich, find our planet's solar spectacle worth the journey. Scientific explorers. Among our guests, we might find alien scientists, their interests purely academic. To them, Earth's eclipse provides a unique laboratory to study cosmic phenomena under conditions unavailable on their own worlds. Their mission, possibly directing them to observe without detection, would enable them to analyze the sun's corona, the moon's composition, and even the effect of eclipses on Earth's environment and its life forms. That's you and me. Galactic tourists. Then there's the galactic jet set, the ones for whom this eclipse is but a line on their cosmic bucket list. These visitors might be akin to wealthy tourists seeking out the universe's most spectacular shows. Earth's total solar eclipse, a rare event even by galactic standards, offers just the kind of exclusive experience they crave. It's going to be crowded. In some places along the path of totality, populations are expected to double and triple for the event. In Texas, multiple counties have issued disaster declarations for April 8th because of the enormous influx of tourists expected which, you know, is interesting because they don't issue such declarations for the hordes of invading migrants they're constantly talking about. Could it be that the invasion from across the border is apocryphal, but too many tourists is a real threat to their failing infrastructure? Sorry, friends in Texas, I had to take the shot. Or is it that the authorities of the Lone Star State know that aliens are among us during totality? With such a diverse audience, possibly mingling under the black sun. How can you spot the extraterrestrial attendees? Let's consider the signs. Unusual attire. Did you spot an eclipse watcher whose outfit seemed like it was researched by AI after hacking Google and downloading what to wear for every occasion? Did their socks shimmer with an unearthly glow or did their ears change color with their mood? And those sunglasses that looked like they could give a 3D view of the cosmos? Definitely suspect. The overprepared viewer. That gray skinned kid who brought along what looked like highly advanced viewing equipment, including a self propelled telescope in the shape of R2D2, or a backpack filled with photometers, spectrographs, polarimeters, and coronagraphs. They might just have a closer relationship with the stars than the rest of us. Curious behavior. An alien visitor might be overly fascinated by what seems ordinary to us. If you see an oddly colored humanoid consuming mass quantities of fish sandwiches and chocolate shakes while staring unprotected at the sun, they're either a planetary visitor or a politician. Unexpected knowledge. The guest who casually refers to the partial eclipses of Trappist-1e or the rings of Saturn as if they might have seen them firsthand might be drawing on a bit more than just a well-read background. The obviously unearthly. Did you find yourself talking to someone who was polite, well-spoken, empathetic, and respectful to others, offered you eclipse glasses when you'd forgotten your own, and quietly slipped away as the event drew to a close? Definitely not human. 
As the shadow of the moon sweeps across Earth, casting a temporary twilight during the day, it's not just a moment of astronomical fascination. It's a profound reminder of Earth's uniqueness in the cosmos. Total solar eclipses, such as the one anticipated on April 8th, 2024, offer us a fleeting glimpse into the balance of conditions that make our planet exceptional, not only within our solar system, but potentially across the galaxy. The fact that the moon and the sun appear almost the same size in the sky, allowing for the beauty of a total solar eclipse, is nothing short of a coincidence. This perfect alignment is the result of the moon's precise distance from the sun, juxtaposed with the sun's own position at the center of our gravitationally bound system of planets. Such an exquisite balance is rare in the vastness of space, making total eclipses on Earth a marvel that could be unique in the universe. The slow dance of celestial mechanics, which gradually changes the distance between Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, reminds us that these events are not eternal. With the Moon inching away from Earth each year, we are living in a golden age of solar eclipses. Future civilizations, whether human or something succeeding our species, will not experience these phenomena in the same way we do, adding a layer of uniqueness and appreciation to each eclipse we witness. Eclipses have captivated humans throughout history, inspiring awe, fear, and wonder across different cultures and eras. They remind us of our shared humanity, our quest for understanding, and our place in the universe. The anticipation and communal experience of watching an eclipse binds us together, a rare moment where millions turn their gaze upward, united by a common celestial spectacle. Imagining that Earth's total solar eclipses might attract the attention of interstellar visitors underscores not just the beauty, but the rarity of these events on a cosmic scale. It's a humbling thought, one that encourages us to appreciate these moments, not just as spectators, but as part of a larger interconnected universe that continues to inspire curiosity and awe. I tried raising Klaal, but he's not answering his comlock. Does he know Roswell is not in the path of totality this year? I don't know, Def. The last time I talked to Klaal was in 2020. He wanted to know if he should deal with the extinction event asteroid or find a cure for COVID. I picked the asteroid. Good call. Was it Def? Time will tell. Hey, Dreamforge Magazine is a science and fantasy fiction magazine founded on the idea that the human adventure is just beginning. Our stories aren't about apocalypse, doom scrolling, or dystopia. Speculative fiction should be the literature of hope, genius, determination, and ideas. And that's what you'll find in our pages. We often use the tagline, in all worlds and times, our tales revolve around those individuals and groups who bring meaning and value to the world, whose actions are of consequence, and whose dreams are the vanguard of things to come. If you love science fiction and fantasy, don't miss out. Support us at the digital or print level on Patreon or at our website. Links will be in the description. A few dollars a month from you helps bring great stories to life. Until next time, bye-bye.